why do I have to wake up this early? Who set this alarm up? I, I don't wanna be here. Fine. I guess I'll do it. As Dobby touched my page back to some more, mining of Isaac Repentance Challenges in this episode, we are doing Isaac's Awakening. Now, before I start with explaining the challenge, I first need to point out, hey, that's not a spirit sword, that's a fucking pencil. <laughs> so that's part of a couple of the mods that I have enabled. One of them being um, Unique Items API. Like, Unique Character Items API. So that means that plenty of different, like, looks of, of like, equipment. Specifically stuff like Spirit Sword, stuff like the Incubus, stuff like PJ's, Mom's Lipstick. They're all like uniquely sprited to the character that you're playing as, which is a cool little visual thing. And it's nice to have that. And there's also a bunch of other like mods that I have put on visual wise. Like, um, you'll notice that the pennies look a little bit different if any decide to drop. And that's because that's a part of another thing. That was like this big group of mods that showed up in my recommended or on the Steam page. I was like, yo, here's more, like, books to comp be compatible with mods to give you, like, an updated sprite feel to some things. So that's what I've picked to be on here. Anyways, now to actually talk about the challenge itself. Isaac's Awakening starts you off with Mom's Bracelet, the Spirit Sword, and the Trinity Shield. And your idea is to make it all the way down, not to any other kind of fight because this is going to be the first alt path challenge that we do from this area so like before we get into the boss fight this is one thing you can do you can just like use the bracelet to use these unique uh terrain to see if there's any like unique drops from this it definitely helps with the mushrooms in caves so you can use that as a way to like safely check them without the need of rolling the dice of whether you'll get like smacked by the explosive champ. Yeah, that's lost coin. Ah, I remember this. See look you can it's like very slight but the coin does look different. The lucky penny. You can see over there like the shine specifically is what's different about those coins as part of the, the mod that I have installed. Now it's time for a drink. We oui. Penny. So I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the last video. If not, then don't blame me. It's been a long ass time. There's a rotten heart. Cool. But so the unlock for this challenge is the Spirit Sword itself. So if you enjoy how this game plays when you have doing this challenge, um, beat the challenge. Just try and do it because that way you will unlock this Spirit Sword, which, you know, we saw in the Tainted Isaac video. <laughs> that was such a good video. It's, just, it's a shame that nobody cares about this content. But who cares, you know, right? Just doing things that make me happy specifically. And then once I am sufficient, then I'll be fine. That's just a get out of free card. It's nice to have. Open to same. So yeah, some like you would expect from how Master Swords work in Legend of Zelda series. If you have full health at any time, your swipes will cause a, a sword beam to fly out from the tip of your sword. However, you can still charge a beam doing that spin attack in order to get you a, a free beam. Little blob, get him out of here! Smack him in his face! So the other thing too that I wanted to point out specifically with this challenge there's probably a few things, but the one thing I want to point out is that the current version of the game is version 1.7.9b. I'm pretty sure it's 9b. And that is an interesting thing because that was a big ass overhaul to some things. Goddamn, the uh, fucking um, Breath of Life is good now. It's actually really solid. I haven't gotten the chance to really play around with it. I think most of my chance to play around with the new stuff in the patch will be when the Switch version gets here, which I've been getting confirmation orders that it will show up 
hopefully, but now is not the time apparently for it to show up yet. Oh, hang on. So there was an item room. I just didn't pay attention to. I should have looked at the wiki. No, this is, hmm. What is that? Is that a mod that I have enabled accidentally? Oh no, right, that's why. Okay, so, my mistake. Uh, I don't, a spider maybe would be good, but I wanna see what this is. Deep in life. So, the reason why there's an item room in this challenge, specifically for this floor, is because of going down the path to actually get to the corpse and fight mom. Oh, mother, sorry. You need to actually find an item room. So this is like your free item room for the run. Very free. I could also use this clay mantle. If not, then this is a mistake. It was a mistake. That was a nice... Yeah, you'll definitely see with the mod that the nickels and dimes, those are a lot fatter and thinner, respectively, than normally in the game. Because, it, because the normal dimes and that, dimes and nickels, they're just the same shade, or they're just the same shape as the regular pennies, but they just have different shades to correspond with what they actually look like IRL. But in this mod pack, no, they're different sizes, and so you can definitely tell that it's a, it's a mod. So if you remember, I'm pretty sure that I pointed this out when we were doing dross runs with the main characters. But if you were to... I... Wow. <laughs> Good remembering. Um, if you were to go all the way over to the boss, you can get an extra boss item for beating that boss fight. But the caveat is that you have to beat it as a lost variant of your character at the moment. It's like the main thing you gotta keep in mind. Eventually I will hit him with a laser beam. Come on. Be gentle. Buddy. <laughs> I need him multiple beams. Nice. There's a secret room though. What a face. And I'm sure that's a meme face. I don't know what meme it is. Knife piece one. Hmm. I'm just trying to remember from the actual videos that Bruno and I got far enough to show off the key pieces. I'm, actually, no, yeah, I did. So I don't need to explain the methods of getting the key pieces. Because I definitely died during the mother chase. Or well, the spirit of mother chase. Ah, oh my god, what happened to you, buddy? It's truly a sad sight to see. Actually, I never, did I even check this card? Yeah, it's devil. I won that, actually. I can... Mm, here, 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 buddy. Here, here. I'll just do that. And I bet that automatically locks that door on the side. Yeah. <laughs> you had a free chance to go in there. Look at these meme faces. Um, the boomerang. That's another thing, too, with 1.7.9. Some shop items now just cost 10 instead of 15. Some things are cheaper at a price. Which is a neat change. Makes some things, like easy to tell whether or not it's a decent enough pick, I guess. <laughs> That's cool. It, it, it definitely will be fun to go through Repentance from scratch, getting all the things again. Like, I could technically do that now, but I don't want to. I want to do it on the Switch, so then I can confirm myself to have the true 3 million percent file. It's the only reason I haven't done that for this is for a couple of reasons, but that'll be relevant in due time. I doubt it though. By the way, Wormwood sucks. Wormwood's like one of my least favorite bosses. And I'm also a chance. There's the custom Mr. Dolly that was designed to look like Isaac himself. And now it's time to head southwards down into the mines. Do you mind? Something for your mind, your body, and soul. Your mind, your mind, your mind, your body and soul. So yeah, like, um, I definitely have, like, a bunch more mods installed than before. Like, I think one of the things I have installed is, um, there's this one guy who's been getting on the front page of the, the workshop lately for creating a bunch of synergies for some items, like 
Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, and Spirit Sword, and Mom's Knife. Just making a bunch of synergies with that that the base game of Repentance lacks. And some of them are really good. I feel like some of them are like still in effect here. Like you can definitely see that there's a double swipe that might be part of the mod. I'm not too sure. Yeah, right. Um, nah, I'll just hold on to Devil. I can, if I am smart, I can hold on to that until the ending fight. Oh shit! That was close. Just gotta be mindful of the the, the falling rocks. Look at okay. I should see what's in there. I swear if I had the arcade machine still on. Not too bad. Nice. Golden key. Yeah, actually, the good the feet key. I can do that. That works fine. A little battery bomb. There's also another mod here that changes like the look of the machines. To see what a fortune is. Oh crystal key! Holds the other side. I I I think that opens up. Um, rooms whenever. That might be good to hold on to. Because there's def like, I'm almost certain I edited this in to a previous video, because there's crystal key and blue key, and they do different things. I think this key is the one that will occasionally open up red rooms. And like, the blue key is the one that will not sacrifice a key, but will take you to a a hush like room that will allow you to end. There you go, I knew I was right. Web where. And if you're not familiar with the extra rooms here, the, the old secret rooms. Nice, found um, like the super secret room. Uh, they will become relevant in a future challenge. But otherwise, they are. Outside of the map, as long as you are within the parameters of the map, you'll be able to walk around at ease. Like the main thing is that all maps in the game are created on a 13 by 13 grid. I believe that's the number. And if you go one step beyond the 13 by 13 grid, then you will be sent immediately to the IMR room. However. With these extra rooms being opened up, if you know where to look, the, you may eventually find an ultra secret room. Which is like... It would be probably... It's diagonal, so like there's no connecting entrances to any room. Like, if it was probably going to be anywhere, it would be like two rooms above this point here. Like diagonal... On the other diagonal of the shop. That was like my guess. However, they, there was a lot more nuance. Like, there's definitely a bunch more things you have to keep in mind if you want to try and find ultra secret rooms. That's why the reverse moon card exists, so that you can just go to one of them right off the bat if you find one, which is a very useful card to exist. Oh my god, right, the contact bomb. Shit word. On the spin. That was really good. Good job, Spirit Sword. Good job. Some Jesus juice. Get some extra damage in me. Woo! Good shit. Mines too. Now it's time for the buttons. Gotta press the buttons correctly. Whilst the exploded boys are there. Oh, right, the bonfires. Gotta get them done. Alright, oh, I forgot that the spin specifically can deflect bullets. So that's a useful thing to keep in mind with the Spirit Sword. If you have bullets in your way, you have something charged up like here, it's very useful to have that on hand. If the need arises. Which I doubt. But, you know, it's good. <laughs> I mean, you also got to keep in mind that you have... Oh yeah, also, these red rooms can be, like, unique types of room. Like, you can see this one here is, you know, a unique chest room. Here's the actual secret room. 
even faster. Couple of pennies there. I'm gonna head over there and do this right away. Um, mm hmm, actually, mm, that's, right, right, never mind. I was gonna say, I need to keep some health on me, but then I remembered, with challenges that go to Mother, specifically, they open the doors for you. I said, wah, there's a secret rock there. It's always funny seeing them show up in these areas, because there was two of them, there was another one right there. But you can't do anything about them. You're stripped of everything. What are you gonna do? You can't even find any way to get them. Plus, even when you activate the thing, the whole layout's gonna change. So they're just completely gone. There's no way of getting... That's a third one. Why are three secret rocks on this path? I don't understand. Let's get the second knife piece. So we have uh, technically a beam, in case we need it. So don't pay attention to the mod. The, the, the familiar counter is not showing the... It's not worth, like shaking alongside the other things. It's just a mod. It, uh, fuck. <laughs> Why can I not go to Mother? I don't understand this in the slightest. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How much time even went by? 16 minutes? Ugh. Fuck. Whatever. I have to take my lumps. It's around like 20 minutes or bust. If I die around then, I just gotta go for it. Whatever. So that was Isaac's Awakening. In the next episode of the Binding Isaac Repentance Challenges. We'll be doing Scene Double, which is a Jacob and Esau challenge. Did you expect to see one of them? No? Well, let me just tell you, it's it's an interesting one to be sure. Once you get used to it, you get used to it. So I'll see you in that challenge, hope you enjoy this episode, and hopefully I can get right back into the swing of things with these runs. It would be great to truly finish up the challenge series after waiting so long for it. I still apologize. I'm not sure why I'm still apologizing, I don't know. Whatever. See you then, bye.